Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can create multiple OU in the Active Directory using the PowerShell script. Now here, let me show you the AD structure, okay? Here in the application, there are three OU, right? And there is no sub OU uh, as of now. But suppose I want to create multiple OUs under applications or inside the Adobe reader or maybe automation, right? So I, how can I do that? So be, to create that OUs, we have to give a name of the folder or the OU, okay? And then we have to give the path. Now let me show you the CSV file that we have created, okay? So this is the OU that I want to create here and I have given the path under the application. But suppose I don't want to create all the OU under the application OU, then I'll give this path. Now to give the path, you have to give the okay, distinguish name. Okay, I'll double click here, I'll copy and then I'll paste it here. Okay. So now this OU I want to create under the Adobe Reader. Now the same way you can give the automation path copy and then automation. Okay. Now the third OU auto mobile I want to create under the internet. I'll go in the properties, attribute editor and then distinguish name. Copy. Okay, so now what it will do, whenever I run the script, it will create this OU under this path, okay? And below three OU, it will create under the application tab, okay? So let me save this file, okay? Yes. Okay, now it is done. Now let me show you the PowerShell script that we are using. So here in the first line, we are importing the module that is the Active Directory. So all the command that we are using new hyphen ad organization will be uh, accessible. So it will not give that command uh, not found error. In the second uh, line, we have created a ad ou variable and we are importing the CSV file that we have to give. Now you have to give the path here inside the double quote, okay? Now here, as I told you, right, we have given the OU CSV file and we have created two columns, name and path. So we have to map that to the PowerShell script. Okay, so what we are going to do for each OU inside the AD OU. Now here, there are multiple, let me copy, give the proper name here, okay. Now inside the ADOU variable, there will be a multiple entry, right? This all entry will come here. So we have to take one one entry at the same time, okay, at the one time, and then we have to create the OU as per the requirement. Now we have to map that variable uh, to the column, okay? So we have created a name variable here, and then we are taking the name from the OU CSV file, okay? So the first entry, the first name uh, data will be mapped to the name variable and the path data will be mapped to path variable. And you can see here dollar $OU dot name. Okay. So the first entry, the name will be selected. The first entry path will be selected. And one, this for each loop will be completed for this entry. It will go next and then it will take name from this entry and path from this entry. So this is how the for each loop work so you can add multiple column here based on your requirement if you want to like while creating the OU if you want to give the more information you can add it here and but you have to make sure you are mat mapping that very uh, that data into the variable here okay now the below command uh, we are using new hyphen ad organizational unit and that will actually create the OU on the active directory so let me close this csv file and you can see here, there are only three uh, OU available. Again, there is no inside OU. So let me run this now. And you can see the script has been completed. 
and uh, let me go and reload the AD and you can see here the other OU has been created and this three OU has been created under the parent OU okay so this is how you can give uh, give the OU path or the new OU name as per your requirement and then you have to give the path from the uh, you know the properties and then distinguish name it will uh, appear here in the attribute editor in the properties of OU okay you have to give this path if you are unable to view the attribute editor tab okay uh, this tab then you have to go to view and enable this advanced option okay so let me again show you that now I have disabled this option so if I go here in the properties I will not be able to see that tab okay so you have to make sure you go to view and enable this advanced feature option in the ED so you will be able to see that tab okay now if I go here again attribute editor you can see this okay so if you have any uh, doubt you can put into the comment box and I'll try to answer that thank you for watching the video